It's Roy again. Uh, this is a discussion on this uh, wireless remote for the Interfit S1 uh, Monolights. It's a real simple remote. This is your power on button. You're going to have two of these remotes. Uh, one of them is going to be hardwired to the, the camera with AC power, so you never have to worry about putting batteries in it. Then you're going to have this one, which is a backup, but it's also battery controlled. And you can carry this in your hand and walk around and you've got a hundred foot, uh, you know, range on this thing. You can turn your modeling lights on. You can adjust your um, intensity from the comfort of a chair without having to get up and touch the back of the camera. Okay. Let me go over the, the settings on this briefly. Under the mode area, you have a, a button that changes the mode. So we're going from TTL to manual, and that's it, and back to TTL. Under the sync, we have high speed sync, front curtain, which is the single triangle, rear curtain, which is the dual triangle, and then high speed sync. You're gonna be running this on front curtain for most all of your work. Channel one through through eight or nine, uh, we're on channel one. Down below, you have the group buttons, A, B, and C. When you have your flash heads both set on A, and you have this set on A, when you turn on your modeling lamp, both of them will go on. When you change, you increase or decrease the intensity of this, both of them will, both of your lights will change because they're both on channel A. If you have one of your lights on A and one of your lights on B, in order to change B, you must press B. B is now highlighted and you're changing it independently of A. It's that simple. This is, this activates the modeling lamps. This will fire the flash. I'll turn one of the heads on just so you can hear it. Okay, that's on channel A. So I'm going to put on the modeling lamp. There, there's your modeling lamp on A. And I'll fire this. Okay, I'm going to put the audio on. This is the little beeper sound. Now I've got this annoying beep every time it's recycled. Which I don't like, so I'm going to turn that off. And that's basically it. This will increase or, de this will increase or decrease the amount of energy that's coming out of your flash heads when you when you select these. Um, I find it as convenient to just turn the knobs on the back of the flash heads, but you have the option here. Um, that's it. There is on the side of this a port that allows you to connect this USB cable so that you may go on to Interfit and download the latest firmware. The latest firmware for both heads and remote have already been installed as of the date of this video but as as they roll out with new features they incorporate them into the firmware and you can download them and upgrade your unit for free um, that's it the next video we're going to show is going to incorporate both heads and i'll be operating this remote so you can see what's happening with each head okay back again uh, i'm going to show you how this remote affects these two flash heads as i'm running them right now i've got it in manual mode and i've got them both set on channel A. Uh, based on this with my remote, if I increase or decrease the power, because it is set on channel A, it will increase or decrease the power on both of them. So as I go down on my power, you see how the power drops. If I go up on my power, you can see how the power increases. I can also go manually and grab the knob and just turn it do whatever I want so that if I've got them basically in, in uh, their symmetrical lighting and if I want to kick one side up a little bit or one side down a little bit, I can do that and I don't have to do it on the remote. This will bypass the remote. But let's say I've got these at 4.4. Let's say I want to set them as uh, asymmetrical lighting. So I want A and B to be completely independent. So what I'll do is I'll change this from group A to group B. Now it says group B. I'll go over to my group B button and I've got it on four. Let me kick it up to 4.5 and you'll notice it's changing. This isn't, this is still at 4.4. Now, if I wanted to go back to A and change it, I would, I click on the A button. It brings me back to group A and I can reduce group A. Same thing applies to my modeling lamps. The modeling lamp will only be will only be controlling the lamp that, that is selected, the group that is selected. So I'm on group A. 
I turn on my modeling lamp and group A comes on 50%, 100% and off. If I wanted to control the modeling lamp on group B, I would select B and then turn on the modeling lamp and there we are, 50%, 100% and off. If I have them both set on group A, now they're both on group A and I'm going to go to group A and I'm going to increase them and decrease them. You see how they're following each other? They're symmetrical, so they're always going to be the same. I'm only working with group A here. Um, now, I'm in manual mode. So the manual mode will be basically just manual. If I want to switch to TTL, and now I fire these flashes. If my camera and lenses and lens were hooked up, it would automatically meter based on an 18% neutral gray or however they're doing this now. And it would give me a good exposure. I zoom in on my actual specimen and not just the background. I would get a good exposure of my specimen. What's cool about this is when I switch, I fire this. When I switch back to manual mode, it's locked in my TTL setting. So now I know I've, I've got a basic starting point. So now I can say, I might just do a manual. I might want to kick this one up a little bit and leave that where it is. I can adjust these independently like that. So I love the fact that when you switch from TTL to manual, at least it, it holds that TTL setting. That's about it. I mean, they're pretty straightforward. Um, this, again, will control all the little things like the, the beep sound and and the, and the modeling lamps, the, the increase and decrease of your intensity, and basically allow you to, to, to pick which lamp you're controlling. Um, if you don't have this, you would have to use the uh, flash sync cables on this with the flash sync cable splitter on the camera, and then you'd be shooting only in manual mode. You can't do TTL without this remote. So again, you have the two of them. So uh, the one on the camera is hardwired. This one is the battery operated one. So uh, that's it.